लेक्चर एटीन कन्वर्जेंसी ऑफ सीरीज एंड सिक्वेंस पार्ट थ्री इन दैट लेक्चर डिस्कस द रेशो टेस्ट एंड रूट टेस्ट नाउ द टी लैम्बर्ड रेशो टेस्ट सो इफ वी हैव ए सीरीज समीशन यू एन वी आर इन फाइनाइट सीरीज ऑफ पॉजिटिव टर्म देन लेट एस कंसिडर लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी यू एन अपॉन यू एन प्लस वन Here u n is what is the nth term of the given series, and u n plus one is a n plus one nth term of the series. So we divide the nth term by n plus one term. We get a number says lambda. Now, if that lambda is greater than one, so the given series is what is convergent, and if that lambda is less than one, the given series is divergent, and when we get the lambda is equal to 1 so we say the test is failed so we have to apply another test now take an example here test the convergency of that series so we have given a series 1 plus factorial 2 plus 1 by factorial 3 and so on this is a infinite series so here first we see what the sign is not alternative and the complete series is positive so here we write The nth term of that series. First, we write the nth term, and what is the nth term? You can easily write. The first term is one. Second term is one by factorial two. Third is one by factorial three, and similarly plus one by one upon factorial. We get n. So the nth term is what one upon factorial n. And now, what's the n plus one nth term of that series? So we just put n is equal to. 1 by n, so we get factorial n plus 1. Now we check the limit. First, we divide u n upon u n plus 1, and apply the limit n tends to infinity. So we here we take the ratio of the nth term or n plus 1 term. So what we get 1 upon factorial n into 1 upon factorial n plus 1. Here we apply the limit. n tends to infinity. So it can be written as factorial n plus 1 upon factorial n, and the limit n tends to infinity. Now you just simplify that the limit. So what we get here, we can expand that factorial. So we can write limit. n tends to infinity n plus one factorial n. I think all of you know how to expand the factorial. And similarly, factorial n in denominator. Now it is cancelled. When we apply the limit on that, what we get? We get infinity. So the limit u n And u n plus one means the ratio of the nth term and n plus one term at infinity and tends to infinity we get infinity. So here that is what this is lambda, and that is greater than one. So by ratio test we can say the given series is Convergent. Take one more example. Test the convergence of the series. Now we have a series factorial two upon three plus factorial three upon three square plus factorial four upon three to power four, and so on up to factorial n plus one upon three power n and up to infinity. So first. as we see the complete series is what positively and up to infinity so first we write the nth term of that series which is already mentioned in the series that is factorial n plus 1 3 power n now we write the n plus 1th term that is what we get we put here in that equation n replace with n plus 1 so we get n plus 2 factorial 3 power n plus 1 now take the ratio that is 
un upon un plus 1 so what we write we divide that term by that term so what we get we get n plus 1 factorial divide by 3 power n into 3 power n plus 1 divide by factorial n plus 2 so here we cancel the term 3 power n 3 power n and expand that factorial so what we write n plus 1 factorial n into 3 divide by factorial also we can expand that uh, factorial so we write n plus 2 n plus 1 and factorial n so here we get 3 upon n plus 2 this is what this is un upon un plus 1 at term the ratio of the nth or we say the ratio of the nth and n plus 1 at term now apply the limit n tends to infinity on that so we apply the limit n tends to infinity so what we get we get 0 so limit n un upon u n plus 1 at term is what at infinity is 0 so this is what this is lambda so by ratio test we can say lambda is what lambda is equal to 0 means less than 1 so given series is divergent now we take another example that is test the convergence of the that series x power a1 upon 1 into 2 plus x square 2 into 3 x cube 3 into 4 and so on up to infinity so here as we see that series is what completely positive so we can apply the ratio test so first we write the nth term we can easily write the nth term that is x key power n n plus 1 then what's the n plus 1 term so it is x power n plus 1 n plus 1 and n plus 2 you just replace on the place of n you write n plus 1 in un term now take the ratio un upon un plus 1 so here x power n n n plus 1 into n plus 1 n plus 2 x power n plus 1 so here the n plus 1 is cancelled x power n is also cancelled so we get n plus 2 n into x so this is what un upon un plus 1 the ratio of n term and n plus 1 term now apply the limit both side tends to infinity here also n tends to infinity so when we apply the limit on that we take n as a common so we like write limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 upon n divide by x so after applying the limit we get 1 upon x so this is what this is limit n tends to infinity the ratio of nth term and n plus 1 at term so this is what this is lambda now the series the given series is divergent or convergent is depend on that lambda means if the lambda is greater than 1 we can say series is convergent if that lambda lambda is less than 1 so series is divergent and that lambda is what is depend on 1 upon x so we can say from the ratio test we conclude 
the given series is first we can say convergent if what that lambda is greater than 0 and what we say 1 upon x is greater than 1 and the second thing divergent if that lambda is what less than 1 or we can say 1 upon x is less than 1 so this implies what we can say when x is greater than sorry less than 1 so series is convergent and this implies what when x is greater than 1 so the given series is divergent and what was the third condition if we say x is what 1 upon x is equal to 1 means when lambda is 1 so test is fail so we can say when x is equal to 1 if so the test the given test what which we apply is failed means we cannot say the at x equal to 1 the series is convergent or not so for that we have to apply the another test now discuss the Cauchy root test so again if summation un means the series of infinite numbers of positive term contain the positive term and let limit n tends to infinity un power 1 by n we get a number lambda and that lambda is what is less than 1 so we can say the given series is convergent and that lambda is what greater than 1 so we say is divergent and if we get that lambda is exactly 1 so that that test Cauchy ratio test is fail for particular that particular series and in that case we apply the another test now we take an example here test the convergency of the series we have given a series in finite series that is 1 plus 1 upon n power minus n square so in that series whenever you observe or see a series in the power of minus 1 minus n square n square and all that in that series mostly we use the root test so here first we write the n term which is already given and what is that 1 plus 1 upon n <coughs> minus n square now by Cauchy root test for that we find the limit n tends to infinity and take the un power 1 by n so what we write limit n tends to infinity and what is n a term we get 1 plus 1 upon n minus n square whole power 1 by n so as we know that is cancelled so we get limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 upon n power minus n now that series is also written in the form limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon n power n you take because the power is negative so you can write in the denominator so as you see that 1 plus 1 upon n power n is what when we apply the limit n tends to infinity so we get exponential e so we get 1 upon e okay now all of you know the value of e so the value of e is what greater than 1 so in that case the that is what that is we say is a lambda so if you recall the test Cauchy root test so here if that lambda is what is less than 1 so series is convergent if greater than 1 so series so we can say series is divergent so what is 1 upon e 1 upon e we get the value of that is what is always less than 1 so this lambda is equal, what less than you can say less than 1 and here by we write by Cauchy's 
root test given series is convergent now we take one more example so test the convergency series now we have a series a plus x upon n whole power n so first here we know the nth term as you see un is equal to a plus x upon n power n now apply the limit un power 1 by n that is limit n tends to infinity and we write a plus x upon n power n whole power 1 by n because we are using the Cauchy root test now that n is cancelled and apply the limit what we get when we apply the limit n tends to infinity so we get a so here limit n tends to infinity u n power 1 by n is what a now on that a the convergency of that series is depend so by Cauchy root test we say if that a is greater than 1 so what happens see the given series divergent and if that a is less than 1 so given series is convergent and if x is exactly 1 means that x is exactly 1 so we can say this test is fail to explain the convergency.